welcome everybody to Larry's Fountain Pen. I'm Larry the Pen Bug Guy. And today I want to talk to you about a pen I got in uh, about a week and a half, two weeks ago. And I was waiting for the rest of them to get here. I ordered them all at one time, but uh, they have yet to get here and I've already sent a message to the seller. So let's go ahead and uh, do what I have on hand, okay? Uh, it's a demonstrator and it's called the Duckbill Gothic Prowl. And that's an art flower body flat tip Arabic fountain pen. Uh, as you can see, demonstrator pen, you can see the ink inside. Uh, and uh, let's look at the band real quick here. See what we got going on here. Silver looking band. And I have no inscriptions whatsoever on this pen. And on the clip, nothing whatsoever. But when I go to the top of the finial, it does have some kind of a diagram it's round with a line through it flat not much going on really and at the bottom of the barrel it tapers off to be much narrower at the end uh, the pen weight let me find that for you is 17.5 grams that's without any ink in the pen it's a pull-off, and inside you have another plastic liner inside the cap. And, and it goes all the way to the top of the cap. And I'm thinking, well, maybe they have that liner in there for a reason. Maybe to keep the nib from drying out. Um, so, as uh, you, you go down the barrel to the grip, there's no step off there. Uh, and you can feel the, uh, the ring a little bit there, but it's nothing that's going to be annoying or get in your way while you're riding. That's a good thing, right? And then you go down the grip... And the grip is not a, a big grip, but it's a grip that will, you know, I have small fingers, uh, even medium fingers, and large fingers as well. So there should be enough grip in there for large fingers. And if you have them chunky big fingers, if you hold it here, it still won't annoy you. The pin does post. And this is how I would use the pin because for me, this would be perfect for writing. This would be okay, but for long, for long riding sessions, for me, uh, it's, I, I just wouldn't be comfortable with it. You might, but I'm just speaking for me. So I will always post the pen. And we go down to the nib. And on the nib, it will tell you that this is a wink song with an extra fine nib. And it has the diagram on the nib that's on top of the a finial. So, it's a nice little nib. And then you have a plastic feed. And uh, it's white, but of course there's ink in it. And I inked it up with some uh, dye mine rust brown. Let's go ahead and unscrew the pen. It does come with the converter. And with this pen, I've been checking it out. And you can make this into an eyedropper. There's no holes in the lid, no cracks in the lid that I can tell. And I've looked it over pretty good. So a little, little silicone grease around there and uh, ink it up, baby. It's time to rock. Before I get to the writing sample, let me talk a little bit more about the pen. It's a calligraphy in Gothic Roman 
language. I couldn't pronounce that white name, so I'm not even going to attempt to. And uh, the tip thickness, this one in my hand is a 0 0.7 millimeter. They have another one, 1.1 millimeter, then a 1.5 millimeter, a 1.9 millimeter, a 2.5 millimeter, and a 2.9 millimeter. Well, the 1.1 and the 1.5 and the 1.9 never made it to my house. Just the 0 0.7 millimeter. Okay. Uh, the material for the pen is an organic plastic. The length of the pen, we'll get to that next. It's going to be, as, as you see it right here, cap. 5.30 inches. When you post it, it's 5.90 inches. Uh, the widest point of the barrel is going to be 0 0.47 inches, and the widest point of the grip is going to be 0 0.41 inches. The widest point of the cap is going to be 0 0.53 inches. The length of the cap is 2.25 inches. So that's the dimensions I get on the pen. Now, uh, what does this pen remind me of? Let me just pull out a pen real quick. Uh, here is a Jin Hao 991, right there. It kind of reminds me of that. And uh, here, match it up with the Pilot Prera. The uh, wing song is long, longer, but still, it kind of, to me, resembles in a way the Pilot Prera does. Put it up against a preppy. Why not, right? And it's as long as the preppy. Maybe the preppy just by a few hairs would be longer, but it's pretty close. So let's do a little bit of writing with the pen and see what we think about it. Remember, extra fine nib, wink song. So here we go. For an extra fine nib, I like it. It's it's not scratchy. Uh, it just a Maybe a hint of feedback, but in a good way. You can feel the nib on paper, but it's not going to tear up the paper, nothing like that. And for some writing. All right, and uh, the pen wrote very well. I had no problems with the ink flow whatsoever. It did deliver. And we do a few swirls here. And let's do some upside down, see what we can do here. A skip there. And you get you can get some upside down writing over. Gonna have a few skips, but it's already an extra fine nib, so I would kinda expect that a skip there, skip there, skip there. 
there's a skip there so it, it did kind of hit and miss upside down but it still did a fairly decent job for being what it is the pins are not expensive whatsoever so if you like a extra fine nib this is pretty decent pin for a dollar fifty free shipping I really was hoping that the other pins would come in so I can see what they were like but Work with what you have, right? And that's what I'm doing. So, nice snap-on cap. The clip, it's tight, but uh, it doesn't interfere when you put it in the pocket. So, there it is in the pocket. Take it right off. So, yeah, it's a decent pen. Newbies out there, if you're interested in uh, extra fine nibs, you might want to check this pin out. For you folks already into the pin world and you like extra fine nibs, you might want to check the pin out. Uh, and how it's going to be listed, it's not listed as a wing song. At least not where I bought it from off eBay. It's the Duckbill Gothic. That's how you're going to locate this on eBay. That's going to wrap this up. Uh, video up. I hope you found the Duckbill Gothic fountain pen with a Wink Song extra fine nib interesting. I know I did and uh, I'll be checking out the pen more thoroughly as the days go by and I hope you stay tuned with me soon for my next fountain pen. It's going to be uh, an interesting pen because what they sent me is not what I expected and then when I text the, the uh, seller he said that was the correct pen but then I'm saying about the pen in question it was about the nib and that's for another video all right my friends have a great day it's a wonderful 82 sunny degrees here in Fort Worth Texas and I'm just feeling it and it's time to go. I hope everybody has a great day. Peace. I'm out of here. Take care.